a pleasant good evening or good day to everybody tuning on right now and looking at this video whether on Facebook or YouTube hi to you guys even though my evening is not too pleasant right today is Thursday the 5th of August now yesterday last night I thought I would have had the honor to go and look at a very well put together pageant show for Mr. and Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2010. Right? The Bikini people to stand up wherever to go and represent the country. $250. Of okay, the other half of my ticket right here. Me and some of my, my mother and my some of my family members. What well, are the other tickets somewhere? But I don't throw away the ticket because that show was rubbish. Right? That show was complete rubbish. Let me get started as what I have to expose this evening. Right? You know, I'm a person who would expose the things on them, stand up for what is right, and expose the nonsense. Right? So, this was the booklet that I got when I entered the show. I reached very early at about half past five. I reached in Queen's Hall. Ready? Hot and sweaty to go and watch the show. Right? And make sure that I dress up well. Dolce and Gabbana. Um, T-shirt, jeans, I can't remember the name of the jeans. Nice dress shoes. Semi-formal looking real good, eh? Family member, they are disappointed. Everybody dressed up swanky because you know we're going and see a good show. So said it wasn't done, right? So I went to show as I show you already the booklet. This is Mr. and Miss World. Right? So we have it. This is the first time I said on a patch a, a, a delegate for Mr. World. Right? The show start first of all, the show was so poor. The production of the show was extremely poor, right? We had two MCs, so you have those of you who were either present or saw it on C. We had two MCs, a male and a female, right? The male MC, all I can remember, his name was Fabrice, right? It click a bell because he sung like a, a powder detergent, like Breeze and, and whatever, right? So I say, all right, two nice song in, the voice and the song in good, something I want to get into later. And I say, this song like that is called people, but let me tell you something. This, this, this man Fabrice, he disgraced the whole pageant, right? He disgraced the whole pageant. It was very disgusting. He is so unprofessional, right? I'll come back to later on to the video. I would like to hit you that he dropped for one of the male guy, one of the male um, pageant persons on for the under the miss world right i have a line to give you what he said when i i was present and for some of you all saw me on tv thanks for letting me right i was there live so i didn't look at the tv so thanks for letting me know but i was there live i saw the show in fine living color in the beautiful queen so that was the first time i went to the show that that um venue very nice however so you start up with a couple girls to start the show and whatever whatever and then finally, well, the parade in the evening gong, the parade in bikini and thing, and looking real good. Some of them, let me reach that part as yet. So the, the pick five girls, the top five, Ariel Thomas, Davia Chambers, Prima Rose Ramtahal, Nikita Legal, and Whitney Husbands. Those were the five girls that they chose to advance. Right? I ain't too sure if I forget somebody's name, but that person I may have forgot. Well, first of all, not all of them bad, eh? Some of them girls are in the call in that top five, one of which who went on to get the crown. The looking, like they need to eat KFC, morning, noon, and night. If I had breeze blow, you know it's hurricane season now. If I had breeze blow, pick them up and go with them. You saw you watching the movie and when hurricane thing in and you seen cow flying and thing, they go look dressed like that flying all over the place. If you see some of them, if you see the walk some of them put on in the patch on show, maybe she have a wig back. Or if one of she foot like she has sprain or something in it. If you see the walk, right? Apart from the five that they pick, the first run, the second runner up. So this girl who come in third, in a sense, Nikita Legal. First runner-up was Prima Rose Ramtahal. I had a gay story about her. And the, the winner, 
end up to be Davia Chambers. Right? Davia Chambers. Who, by the way, now I know somebody when he patch and tell me I'm talking this because I hear the neighbor talking this or whatever. Davia Chambers come in the show are almost a whole month late and want to mix and mingle with the commoners. You know how she reaching the show in the first place, eh? You bring she in the show and she end up taking away the whole crown. Right? Continuing, this prima rose round to her. Now, for both, those of you who looked at it on TV, but the Queen saw so a little bit far from the stage. They won't be able to see facial expressions as clear as you may see when you zoom in with the camera and thing. This prima rose, when they gave her first run up, she was, she was visibly distraught. She felt very bad. Clearly, right? She felt very bad and people say, no, she's a sour loser. I hear it on radio on 96 or wherever they're saying the girl is a sour loser and things like that. What the ass wrong with them? I, that's what I want to know. When them wasn't even in the show, they can even afford a $250 ticket, but they're working. But they want to watch on TV and feel they know the best and, it, and it, they know everything about the show. Prima Rose like the real bad talk the girl on radio. The re real bad talk the girl and see how she saw a loser and this and that when they wasn't even in the show. They were not even in the show and the girl felt cheated. So as a result, she can't smile about that. And if I was sir, I wasn't even going and collect any trophy or badge, I fling that back in the face. Because I don't want it. This show was complete rubbish. Complete rubbish right continuing right talking about the febreze guy right remember the two the, the, the gentlemen to watch close with for the mr world i wasn't too much interested in this eh, because you know this is not really my thing i want to see my miss world of all the guys i can't remember the other one but the other one it has four guys who i could not remember right now one was um amrit ram logan who ended up to be the first runner up who had very well crowd support and he answered this question very good however first runner up second runner up was terence several i think i mispronounced that but whatever and maurice bonard was also another um one of the finalists in the top five right and However, when they were announcing all of the prizes as well, they announced two prizes, I think for best physique and something else, and they award those prizes to Jeffrey Charles. Can you believe when the announcer announced the prize for Jeffrey Charles? Mr. Febreze, when he realized he's not coming, coming out to collect prize, he go look to call the man. Oh, what a sour loser. He know about sour? He knows about sour. Jeffrey Charles. The man even make top five. Right? He even make top five. Right? Maybe can see face too well. But he ain't make top five. But he win two prizes. Two prizes. And he ain't make top five. You tell me that something, right? Now, what I want to expose, however, is this. Now, that was just a little warm up. You know, before you go and exercise here, you know, you make some squats and fights and things. That was just the warm-up. Let me get to the real meat of the matter. Now, the judges, these, are, these were the important people, however. I can't remember the rest. Onika O'Neill, she was she used to, she was a news presenter on CNC3. Clifton Dikoto, who is a minister, or somebody in the government and whatever. Giselle Legal, sorry, Giselle Laron West, who is, by the way, a, miss, a former Miss World. When she enters, she beat people like Halle Berry and thing, eh? She beat you in the whole show. And Dale Enoch, who is a very renowned and well-known media personality, who is still in the, in the in army media world right now. 